if you're building a relationship with a great guy, but maybe something seems off. Maybe you think he might not be fully honest with you, or maybe at times there's a power struggle and you're going back and forth. Well, if you're finding that there's some questions, maybe there's even some incongruence in what he says and what he does, there's a good chance that he might be playing mind games with you. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how to tell if he's playing mind games and how you can put an end to it abruptly. I'm Jason Silver. I am the dating coach for ambitious women. In this channel, Attract Great Guys, I break down relationship strategies and really the science of attraction and influence so you can understand how to attract a real high quality man for a committed lifelong relationship. So let's jump right into it and talk about identifying mind game. Now, the first sign that he might be playing games with you is if his availability comes in pretty polarizing waves where sometimes he's very available, you spend a lot of quality time with each other, you're really connected, and then other times he seems to just fall off the face of the planet. He's unavailable, you can't contact him, you don't know where he, he went. If that's going on, there's probably some kind of game playing because a true high quality man is going to wanna to stay connected, he's going to wanna to make you feel that there's the relationship is growing and building and he wouldn't risk potentially losing that. So if a guy is going back and forth and back and forth, there's something going on. When I first began dating my wife, we went on a first date together and then I just happened to be going out of town. She just happened to be going out of town the week after. And we actually didn't get to go on a second date with one another until about two and a half weeks later. Now after that, we went on a second date the very next morning, I gave her a call at around 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, maybe it was like 8.30 or 9. But I had gone out for breakfast in her area by her home with a friend of mine. And I just reached out to her and asked if she wanted to go for a walk. Now, she was a little bit weirded out. She thought, wait, is this guy going to break up with me? Why is he reaching out to me the next day after our second date? And the truth of the matter was, I just wanted to see her again. I had a great time on our second date and I wanted to spend time with her and I happened to be in her area and that's it. There was no bigger agenda. But over the next several months, we just spent a lot of time together because I was getting to know her, I really liked her, and I wanted to spend time with her. It was important to me because I was looking for a lifelong committed relationship. And if that is what you are looking for, then I believe a relationship is like roller skating up a hill. You never remain stagnant. You're either growing or you're falling backwards. So the right relationship with a high quality man where you're both working towards a committed relationship, where you're connecting with one another, where you're aligning your values and your lifelong goals is going to mean that you're going to be spending more and more time together. And if he just falls off the, the planet and you can't reach him, then I have to really ask, is this guy really mean it? when he says that he wants a committed relationship because his actions are not aligning with that. And that brings me to number two. The second sign he might be playing games is if he has a lot of different reasons or excuses of why he can't commit. Maybe he just can't commit to taking that next level of investment, whatever that might look like in your relationship. He always has an excuse. Some of them might be logical, but ultimately you're not progressing. You're just stagnating. And at the end of the day, I believe that you deserve someone who is going to truly value you and work with you to progress the relationship to where you both want to be in the future, to align your lifelong goals and to take action on moving towards them. And if he's not taking action, that's the only thing that you can look at. Look at his actions more than his words. And if he's not taking action, there's a good chance that he's playing games. And the only thing that you can do is really ask yourself, who do you deserve? Do you deserve someone? who is going to work with you and move towards your goals, what would the woman that you value most in the world do in this position? She would probably have her standards set high. She wouldn't try to change or control someone from being someone they're not, but she probably wouldn't stick around and allow them to treat her in that way. So that's something to think about. The third sign a guy is playing mind games with you is if you have not met his social circle, whether it's his friends, his coworkers, his family, the people he spends time with, if you're never meeting these people, then you have to ask yourself, what's really going on? A person can pretend to be anyone with you one-on-one. -on -one. They can play a character. But once you see them with people that they've known for an extended period of time, it's very difficult for them to act completely incongruent. You start to learn a lot more about a person when you see them with their social circle. 
And if for whatever reason, this man is using all sorts of excuses or reasons why you can't meet his social circle, there's a good chance that there's something fishy going on. And I would encourage you to really focus on either figuring out what's really going on or moving forward and finding a way to spend more time with the people that he knows and he values. Because there's no reason, again, why a high quality man who wants to get to know you and build a relationship with you won't want you to feel more comfortable, won't want you to really get to know him. And a huge part of us is who we spend our time with. There's that saying, we are a combination of the five people that we spend the most amount of time with, and I believe that. So look who he spends the most amount of time with and meet those people and spend time with him with those people. That's, that's so key. The fourth sign that he might be playing mind games with you is if there's ever a challenge or a problem in the relationship, it's always your fault. At no point does he ever accept responsibility. At no point does he ever accept his share of the relationship that he's always quick to criticize or complain about the things that you're doing. In fact, sometimes maybe your friends or people that you talk to about your relationship might say, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. I don't know why he's doing that. And yet when you speak with him, he makes you think you're crazy, like your friends are crazy, that it's, it's clearly you. If you're with someone that is always blaming you for everything and they're never accepting responsibility, then there's probably mind games going on. And I would encourage you to really invest in a relationship with someone who's going to realize and accept that a relationship is 50-50. And it takes two sides of a rubber band to create tension. It's not just one-sided. And if you don't have a partner that's willing to accept responsibility, there's not much you can do at the end of the day except draw clear, healthy boundaries of what you're willing to accept and not willing to accept in your relationship. And the fifth sign that a man is playing mind games with you is if he focuses on convenience rather than compromise. The bottom line is any relationship is challenging and it takes compromise to build a truly connected, intimate, loving relationship. It's not easy when you deal with Two people instead of one, we have to let go of some of what we want to value the we in the relationship because what's best for the couple is not always what's best for the individual. And if you're not with someone who values compromise, if they're only focused on convenience, then is this really someone who's looking for the same kind of lifelong committed relationship that you are? And if they are only focused on convenience, there's a good chance that anything else that they say to you about wanting a true partnership, they're probably playing some games there or might not even realize what a true partnership means. Now, I encourage you to refer back to this, to look at these five signs, to use it to assess your relationship, a guy that you're getting to know, and ask yourself, is this person really acting in alignment with the person that they say they are? Are they acting in alignment with the relationship that they say they want? And really focus on the actions rather than those words. And I promise you, these five signs are great metrics to take a look at a guy in a relationship to see if he's really serious or if he's playing games with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Become a subscriber to my channel. I go through videos every single week to help you to attract a high quality man. Please do click the link below in the description and sign up for a little bit more of an in-depth training on how you can attract a high quality man. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be well.